my god, YouTube. It's me and I'm back. <laughs> so, uh, you guys wanted the next Pokeblock to happen. And I want it to happen. And it was just a matter of time until it happened. And uh, now it is happening. <laughs> and I'm so happy to be here, to be back. It's, uh, it's been a long, long while since I last recorded the video for you guys. It's been so stressful, so busy. I haven't had internet for a while and uh, man, it's it's awesome. So um, this new season of Pokeblock is going to be uh, Liquid Crystal. And uh, for those of you who don't know what the hell this is, I uh, just gotta give it a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and let the game explain for itself because I don't wanna bore you with this, with this screen. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, you guys probably know all this already, but here we go anyways. So uh, we see here some controls. I mean, we all know the the Pokemon controls are pretty straightforward when the <laughs> when the Game Boy only has like two buttons and then the R and L button. <laughs> it's really not that much to it. Welcome to Pokemon Liquid Crystal by Lycan Sel Lingen Zelda. Yeah, I read that Lincoln Zelda. <laughs> And Sinister Seiku. Man, that guy is sinister. I hope people enjoy this game as much as we did making it. This is the Vita, uh, the Vita 3.1, which is 99% complete remake of Pokemon Crystal. And then the credits, which is are the uh, the people helped out with the project. And um, here is what it's all about. This is game is a remake of Pokemon Crystal, which has Yoto, Kanto, and Valencia Island completed. Enjoy the game, and I'll leave the rest to Professor Oak. Hello! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemons. My name is Oak. People call me the pro the Pokemon Prof. <laughs> the Prof. That's what they call them in, like, school. Like, hey, Prof. Jeez, does it have a name? Come on. Um, it's inhabited by far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. But first, let me tell you a little bit about your... Oh, tell me a little bit. I'm, I'm reading, like, making up lines for him. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? You can't see me. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Now, obviously, it's going to be... Is there a lower... Yes, there's a lowercase here. Let's go ahead and... Direct. Is it going to be better like this with, with some... Small letters? Just go full big letters. Uh, let's go full big letters. I think it's, it's it's more badass. No numbers, no. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, the bigger the better, right? So your name is Drex. Yes, that's that's my name. Are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story, full of memories and tough challenges, is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go. And uh, here we go. What? Woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? Is that- am I supposed to be talking with my mom or something? Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? What? So it's Tuesday? 11 o'clock? I think that's cool that because I'm playing on the emulator, it, it reads my computer clock, so... I don't know if, if the other emulators does, I don't remember, but um, could be the mod, the uh, the modded version of it. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing this at 11 o'clock. And so it's Tuesday, 11 o'clock. How many minutes? 45 minutes? Oh my god! So... So true. I overslept. All right, so here we are. Um, we got a. We got. We got ourselves a nest shaped Wii. That's. That's brilliant. Seriously, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I guess as usual, you could take out the potion here. It's usually always a potion here, but um, I guess it's time for me to explain what the hell this whole remake is all about. So. Let's first talk with Mother. Oh, Rex, our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for you. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. And then he gives me the Poke Gear, which, um... Oh, it's funny, because they never use these things. Because essentially, if you want to be a good trainer, you can make calls and uh, select a phone icon, whatever. Phone numbers are stored in your memory. You just use a name and you want to call. And that's not convenient at all. So, um... I guess... Well, this is my trainer car. I don't even know where I keep my... Poke. Okay, here you go. This isn't have ah. Well, I guess that's just to call people because in this game you can like record the numbers of trainers that you fight and then you can like refight them, which was a, a new thing they added for this generation and that's that's cool, I guess. Good morning, Rex. I'm visiting. Have you heard? My, do 
<laughs> Bird is the word. <laughs> My daughter is adamant about becoming professor of health assistance. She really loves Pokemon. Cool. All right, so before I get any further, uh, explaining a little bit of what this is all about. This is the remake, obviously, of Pokemon Crystal. And this is made with the... I, I, I believe this is the Pokemon... Uh, the third generation um, engine, so... Uh, Ruby and Sapphire's engine, or Emeralds, whatever. Um, so you see that the... Uh, the graphics are improved, but what's really important and really cool about this whole remake is that uh, it's a hard remake, it's a hardcore remake. Uh, not hardcore in the sense that if you die, you know, your creature dies, but more of the likes of um, the levels of Pokémon are much higher, of the enemy Pokémons, and uh, it's just generally harder. They, they're actually smarter in the way they choose their moves, they'll try to counter you, they will use... Uh, the gym leaders are harder, they have TM moves that are actually stronger than usual. It's, you're gonna see that it's, it's, it's just generally harder. Uh, I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Rex. Um, you see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. A Pokemon conference. But <laughs> it's like a very important deal here. And there are some things I don't quite understand. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. If these are like, the, pro the, like really like important like Pokemon pro uh, professors, like. I just find it silly that they don't know, like, they don't, have, their Pokedex is, like, empty, you know? <laughs> I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Thanks, Rex. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it! Um, I got an email, and that's probably Professor Oak. Okay. Uh, hey, listen, I have an acquaintance called, I don't know, Mr. Pokemon. What if the hell's wrong with this guy's names? He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. Not the other times, this time. It is intriguing and we're, be, we're busy with what our Pokemon thinks we're busy with. I know, Rex, can you go in our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon containing these balls. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be that Pokemon's first partner. Yay, go on, pick one. All right. And uh, the first starters, just as usual. Uh, Cyndaquil, we got Cyndaquil, we got Totodile. And then we got Chico Rita. And I'm gonna go with Totodile mainly because uh, I tend to like po the water Pokemon more just simply because uh, I don't have to like worry about catching one for Surf, if you know what I mean. Uh, this Pokemon is quite energetic. And uh, they're all energetic, I, I guess. Um, Totodile. Um, let's see. Well, on the first game, I named my character, I believe it was Rex. Not Red. And then the main character, I named him Rex. Um, for this one, let's see, what should I name him? Alright, so I'm gonna be following the same concept that I used in the first Pokeblock series, in which I'm gonna be using the last comment of the last video that I uploaded from the series. And uh, because I'm recording all of this in advance, I'm gonna be using the, the last comment from the finale of the series, of the last series. So, uh, let's go ahead with that. So. We got here, Awesome Mantle 3. Now that's obviously an awesome name. Um, it's gonna be too long probably, so I'm just gonna use Awesome. Um, oh shoot. Awesome. Awesome. You know what, that's, that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm, I'm liking this already. I mean, it's not a, it's not a usual name, but what? I'm, I'm watching you, Elm. Okay, who, who the hell was that? Anyways, Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Groove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route, so there's so there's so a direct route there, so you can't miss it. There should be like a coma there or something. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with the machine on my right. Feel free to use it anytime. You should be okay just in case. I'll give you my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. I never liked the whole calling concept of this game. I mean, it's kind of cool that you can like pre battle trainers and stuff, but I think they should have done something different. Like, it's so bothersome when you're, like, doing something and then, like, three people call you at the same... Uh, one after the other. Observation, some Pokemon evolution says on the screen. That's, that's cool. And this is the machine. Can I heal it? Oh. That's, that's, that's cool, I guess. Alright. Is it gonna give me some Pokeballs? I want you to have this for your errand and a potion. Now. I guess they give me the, the Pokeballs after. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. What a, what a Pokemon lab with just two people. Um, the, so this is the mysterious guy. So this is the famous Elm Pokemon lag. What are you staring at? I'm not doing anything mysterious down here. Uh, just gonna talk to some people. Whoa, your Poke gear is impressive. Did your mom? What a douchebag thing to do. 
can take care of myself. Uh, Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. Ah, this is where you find out, I guess. I was amazed by Prof Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research in Pokemon evolution. Yet, you don't even hear from him in the first game. I wish I could be a researcher like him. Alright, so that's cool. Um, this is the Elm's house. I'm not really gonna go into his house. I guess there's really nothing to do here. But uh, we got Awesome here, and he has a cherry, uh, a berry, I guess. So, that's cool. Now, um, the other thing that I was gonna ex uh, uh, tell you guys about this whole um, modded version of the game is that uh, besides just being generally harder, there, there are actually different Pokemon that appear here that shouldn't be appearing here um, from the normal version. So you're gonna be seeing Pokemon from the... Uh, more Pokemon from the first generation. They're gonna be Pokemon from the third generation and maybe from the fourth. I'm not sure about that. But I guess we'll be finding out. But, um, so for example, you can see things here like Aaron from the third generation, or you can see, uh, I don't know, whatever else Pokemon there's on the third. I hate that generation, but, uh, <laughs> Sandra, that's not some Pokemon. I'm not really interested in that. I want to, want to catch some more cooler ones than that. And awesome. <laughs> We're to level six. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to take a break, so I saved uh, to record my progress. That's, that's nice, I guess. So we're not supposed to be here, going through this route here. This is from much later on, but uh, there are different types of Pokemon here, and I want to see um, what appears here. Um, there's some Redis. I'm not really too interested in that. Oh, by the way, for those of you who are interested in the finding out how I'm playing so fast, because uh, I saw a lot of comments about that on why my, my game was sped up. Um, to do that, you obviously had to be playing on the emulator. You can't do this on the Game Boy unless you have like something like Pokemon Stadium or whatever. But uh, you go to Options, and give me a second here because it's gonna it's gonna stop here for you guys. You go to Options, Frame Frame Skip, Throttle, and then you choose your your performance there. You can choose up to 200. I'm playing on 250, so it's like 2.5 speed. So here we have a Dunfang, uh, a Fanfi, I guess is the pre-evolution. Um, this guy is, uh, I guess, is a rare spawn. It's like five percent chance of appearing here or something. And uh, you know what? That's that's kind of cool. It's a, it's a cool Pokemon. Let's see if we can catch it. Um, it's making it harder for me. I don't even have Pokemon Pokeballs, so I I don't think it's it's gonna be even worth it because I don't can't even do anything to it. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to just. Uh, Follow the road for now. I guess we can catch him later. I'll see if I if I feel like doing that later. But uh, another thing to be added for this game is the Oran berries or just any kind of berries. Um, the thing about these berries is that you can actually equip them to your Pokemon uh, to make them um, grab it or whatever, and then they'll like use it automatically during the battle. So you can like equip things like healing berries that uh, heal them when they get weak, or uh, paralyzing cure berries, which. Uh, cures them of paralyzation when they get paralyzed. This is just a really nice mechanic. Um, it sort of adds a lot of depth to the game, so you can like, because later on you can equip them with things like uh, things that improve their damage depending on the type of their damage or things that um, things that heal them over time, you know, whatever. Like, it just adds depth, which is always a nice thing. Hello, hello! You must be Rex and you must be Mr. Pokemon! Uh, Professor Elm said that you would visit. it. This is what I want Professor Elm to examine. And then he's gonna give me an egg that is mysterious, I guess. I know a couple who run a Pokemon daycare service. They gave me that egg. I was intrigued, so I sent uh, I sent mail to Professor Elm. <laughs> For Pokemon evolution, Professor Elm is the authority. Even Professor Oak here recognizes that. Oh, if my assumption is correct, Professor Elm will know it. Ha, <laughs> so you're Rex. I'm Oak, a Pokemon research. I know who you are. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon. L look where this guy lives, like in the middle of the forest. I heard you were running an errand from, for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this, a rare Pokemon? Let's see. I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He thought that you would treat your Pokemon with love and carriages. I literally made him fight rats and birds for my own amusement. Like, that's... That's how I love my Pokemon. Uh, ah, you seem to be dependable. I, I need my Pokemon Twix to, to exist. How is that dependable? How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you have seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Rex got the Pokedex from Professor Oak. Go meet many kinds of Pokemon and complete that Pokedex. But I stay too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. 
Go, okay. I'm counting on you. That's that's awesome. I guess Mr. Oak is the celebrity here. You are returning to Professor Elm here. Your Pokemon should have some rest. All right, so he heals them up. I'm depending on you. And I get we got some computers here. There's really nothing here. Let's see if there's some interesting stuff. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. I guess that's cool. And the same thing here. All right, that's that's not too. Not, nothing here. Call from Professor Elm. This is what happens a lot through the game. You're gonna get calls um, and they're gonna help you out with your story. Hello, Rex. It's a disaster. It's just terrible. What should I do? I Oh, no. Please get back here now. I mean, that's that's very useful. <laughs> Imagine if your, your dad calls you something. Oh, my God. It's terrible. And then there's like fire in the background. <laughs> it's happening. Ah! And then just come here quickly. Just doesn't tell you what's up. That would be awesome. And I probably wouldn't. And, uh, yep, that's that's his house in the middle of the forest. And, um... What level am I? I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I'm level 7. I'm gonna be... I'm not sure if I'm really gonna catch anything here. Like, I might, I might catch that Bamfy. If, um... If it sounds cool enough in the while I'm passing through, I don't know. It's... I usually never like the starting Pokemons from from these generations. Uh, I think the only ones I really liked were from the from the first one, so they had like Mankey and the other ones that were pretty cool. You got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste, a wimp like you. You got the same Pokemon from the same lab. Like, what's wrong with these people? Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. He has the same, uh, god damn it. From the same place I got him. It's raining. All right, so, um, I believe that the Shikorita from Pokemon Silver was level 6, or was it 5? Was it? Yes. 5. Five. Yeah. So you can see this is just already level 7, so it makes it a little tougher, but it's no matter. If it's gonna grow, at least, if it continues growing, then it should be fine. Yeah! You know, I could use Rage, but... Uh, okay, let's just use Rage to try it out. It's not like I'm gonna get much used to it anyways. And, uh, it's gonna take forever anyways. Oh, gosh. Uh, rage is building. Build that rage, motherfucker. Be awesome. Stand up to your name. Kill that plant. Okay, there you go. So, awesome level up to level 8, and I... Oh, 9. That's, that's pretty sweet. So, <laughs> because he's, like, two levels higher than what he should. Normally gives me two levels. Huh, are you happy you won? Uh, quite quite glad actually because you were being a douchebag and it's it's always nice to be douchebags. My name is ah, I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trader. <laughs> Just having an or an aneurysm while saying his names. My name is I'll say you. See those ledges? It's scary to jump. No, it's it's pretty fun. Just whoa. Alright, so um, now we should be getting some Pokeballs that we sh should help us cut some Pokemans, and uh, yeah, I guess we're reaching the end of the episode, I don't want to make this too long. I heard a Pokemon was stolen here, I was just getting some information for, for, from Professor Elm. Apparently it was a young male with long red hair, what? You battle a trainer like that? Did you happen to get his name? His name was... Let's see if I can... <laughs> that would be terrible. Yeah, you know what? That's that's fine. That's what he said. So his name is. So what's his name? Thanks for helping my investigation. All right, Rex. This is terrible. Oh yes, that was Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. But is he gonna tell me what? Uh, God damn it! You handed the Mr. Egg to Professor Elm. This? But this is a Pokemon egg. Oh my God! This is the greatest discovery of all time. This is the first time this has ever happened. Ever. If this is a great discovery, what? Oh, gave you a Pokedex? Is that really? This guy is like overly like anxious about anything. It's like he calls you. Oh my God! Somebody stole a Pokemon. Oh my God! That's an. Oh my God! That's a Pokedex. Oh my God! Is that true? That's incredible. He's super at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Oh my God, Rex! You have what it takes to become a champion. You seem to be getting great on Pokemon too. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. The closest gym would be the one in Violet City, Rex. The road to the championship will be a long one. Before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. Don't give up! Oh my god, he's so excited about everything. Rex, use this on your Pokedex quest. 
and then he's gonna give me some balls. To add to your Pokedex, you have to catch Pokemon, throw balls at Pokemon <laughs> to catch them. <laughs> All right, so uh, now that I got, uh, I got some Pokeballs, uh, I'll see if I can catch some some fan phase or not, or I'll just continue without that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. It's gonna be, I'm gonna make it like 20 minutes or so each. I think that's, that's about right, but I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.